I watch the clock in order to make the bus, in order to go to stop and shop and buy the things that I need. Living in the city, there were designated bus shelters. You know, there's one further down, but that's like further down. So I've learned to, okay, you hail the bus and they stop and that's it. I had back surgery and the doctor said it's best that I walk, but sometimes uh, too much of a good thing is not good neither. I don't deem it necessary to stand here and wait an hour and a half. It only took me about 15 minutes to shop to wait for a bus. That bench over there, uh, it's sometimes crowded, you know. People are waiting for the bus or they're just standing there. So, this time of day, there's not a mad crowd, so I was in and out with the greatest of ease. Uh, now, if I would, would have walked back, <laughs> I have to cut through this ginormous parking lot, the next ginormous parking lot, which is uh, Kmart, and then walk out onto Dutchess Turnpike, which turns into Main Street, and I just keep walking. By the time I get home, I'm exhausted. And there are times when I've walked home during the week when the buses are running, but because they're two hours apart, I beat the bus that's coming in this direction, I beat it home. And there are times when I've reached my destination just about on Main Street, and I'll see the bus just starting back this way. I'm like, suppose I was back there waiting an hour and a half. You know?